Let's return now to those problems being outlined about uh, Britain's pubs uh, facing the recession and uh, the difficulties they're encountering. Let's join now the landlord of the Eagle Ale House in southwest London, uh, Simon Clark. Simon, thanks for bearing with us while we uh, uh, had that breaking news. Um, what's the position of your pub and business at the moment? How are you faring? Uh, I think, like uh, like many publicans, we're all we're all struggling under uh, a lot of pressure at the moment. Um, we've got uh, we've got the, the mixture of trying to keep our turnovers up and uh, and try and keep our costs down, which is, is no easy chore in this in this climate. And in terms of keeping your costs down and therefore encouraging people, of course, to, to get to the pub, um, like petrol, uh, the, the charge has always been you've been too highly taxed uh, and having to uh, share too high a burden. Uh, I mean, that's, uh, tax is a, is a portion of it, but it's by no means the, the biggest issue. The biggest issue for us is the, is the tie. We're, we're a tied pub. Uh, we have to buy our beer through our landlord, uh, at, in many cases, at twice, twice the price it would be from a wholesaler. Ah, so it's the brewers as culpable as the government, then? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily pin this on the brewers. There's, a, there's, there's property companies that own pubs uh, called pub companies. Um, and they own, I mean, two, two of the largest enterprise inns and punch taverns probably yeah. own roughly a third of, the, a third of the pubs in the country. So it's, it's not just then the recession in terms of people uh, unwilling or unable to spend, it's actually the structure of the pub industry we've got in Britain then? Absolutely, yes, and, and, and a number of uh, MPs and parliamentar parliamentarians are, are looking at it. I know there's a number that, uh, that get the problem. Uh, there's, there's a lot said about supermarket prices and, yeah. and beer duties, but, the, but they're a tiny amount compared to the, the amount that we're paying in terms of, of the beer tie. So make it cheaper, make it smaller and make it more individual, I guess? Yes, I mean, that, that's part of it, but uh, I mean, um, our landlord, for example, has over 7,000 pubs um, and we, we're charged roughly £120, as an example, for a barrel of carling. Uh, if we went straight to a wholesaler with no discount, we could get that for £63 a barrel. So you can see there immediately somebody's skimming off quite, <laughs> quite yeah. a fair amount. Even, even I can do that maths after a carling. Um, Simon Clark <laughs> in uh, the uh, Eagle there. Thank you very much indeed, the Eagle Ale House. We wish you a successful Sunday today at least. Thanks very much for your time. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Showbiz now and uh, joining us, uh, entertainment journalist Gillian Crawley. Gillian, good morning Hello. to you of it here on GMTV this morning anyway. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. After nine o'clock this morning, I have a blast from the past.